Hello again today with me, my reactions from the semi-finals of the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia. Yesterday, of course, was France and Belgium, um, which I pretty much think it was, uh, you know, a result that I didn't really expect, um, and a result that I thought um, maybe it was... Um, a bit a dull semi-final. I would have thought France and Belgium would really, you know, go on to score, go on to attack. But I can tell you one thing. The keeper, Loris and, and, and Courtois, was superb. They was just superb. A lot. I mean, it should have been for France, especially at the end. If it, wasn't, if it wasn't for Courtois... It should have been at least two goals, at least two nil or three nil. The man really, I mean, you, you should look at the highlight. Uh, so this is the goal, which um, I think I'm going to get in trouble for showing this. Is it? So this was the goal. Um, it is a local dive. I'm just going to skip to the... And this was the goal. Okay, so... Uh, Alright. So this is the um, match recap. Um... All right, of course. Uh, okay, nineteen shots for France. Uh, three nine shots for Belgium. Shots on target five for France, three on uh, for Belgium. Possession, of course, thirty six percent, sixty four percent possession for Belgium. Passes three hundred forty five for France, five hundred ninety four for Belgium. Pass accuracy eighty three percent for France, ninety one percent for Belgium. Falls six for falls for France, sixteen for Belgium. Yellow cards two for France, three for Belgium. Offside one each. Corner for France and five for Belgium. Now it's pretty much um, you know absolutely. I would say um, if you ask me, if France deserve to win. I would say maybe, maybe they deserve to win. Pretty much, um, you know. Belgium in the first half an hour was really, really going all the way. But it just seemed France defending was just superb. It, it was pretty much a game which actually was not... If you look at the scoreline 1-0, you, you would have thought was boring. But it, it, the way each team defended was really, really superb. And at the end of the day, again, set pieces in this World Cup. Corner, set pieces, again, have proven to be very crucial especially in games like this i remember back in 2010 when spain versus germany carlos puyol headed that uh, that um that corner goal pretty much the same case as this each team you know pride their best and at the end of the day um you know france uh, emerged victorious um for belgium i think you know it was a very good chance their golden generation you know quite pity to see them leave because you know it should they should have you know have, have gotten a lot more from this World Cup I, I really thought they could win it but of course um, in the end of the day um, they did not I think um, you know it in my opinion I really think that uh, you know you know they're gonna go all the way. But uh, unfortunately, after after come back, after coming back two 0 down against Japan, after coming down, after scoring three goals, and then after beating Brazil, you would have thought you know might just go all the way. But unfortunately, in the World Cup, as always, it happens. France go because I really thought we have a new winner. So France will go on to the finals to meet either Croatia or England tonight. Which I think England have a chance to win, although I prefer Croatia because I really want to see a new team going into the finals. But England, 
I don't know. I think England might just win this. I'm not, I'm not sure, but if we looked in today's game and thought Belgium were the best, you know, the best side, but clearly France have been really phenomenal. Um, and of course, after what happened, it, 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 it's really, I, I would say it's really, a, it, it's really, you know, um, it, it's, pretty much uh it's pretty much um deservingly and of course Thierry Henry have pretty much you know he <laughs> were working with the Belgium side you know I pretty much he is also sad but at the same time he's also happy that France are in the final so it's very contradicting for him um I'm not going to make this too long because we have another semi-final to to cover uh, and of course, I will compile this. And tomorrow, of course, I'm going. We're going to predict on the third place, um, third place. So this will be, um, you know, edited, edited this together. Will be merged together uh, with the uh, with the goal. So um, full time, France one, Belgium nil. France have been three in three finals in the last. 20 years in 1998 where they won against Brazil 2006 they lost against France in the penalty shootout and this time around they're either going to meet England or Croatia which of course is going to be a really thrilling game and uh, pretty much this was um, Belgium's first defeat against uh, a nation in the World Cup since Spain in September in 2006 so um the final thoughts i think for the, for the world cup um it's been a superb world cup so far uh um but you know i really thought that other teams preferably other teams could be in the, in this in this final but anyways i'm just not going to keep it long <clears throat> uh and tomorrow we'll continue after the result between england and croatia